Hi folks and welcome to this video where we're going to look at how you can return multiple columns using the VLOOKUP function in Google Sheets. You could spend forever trying to locate something within a spreadsheet if you had to do it manually, but thankfully you don't have to because the VLOOKUP function can do it for us. But most people use it just to return one column. There's a true hidden gem with the VLOOKUP function where you can actually return multiple columns and we're going to dive in and take a look at that just now. So let's suppose you want to isolate just one row in a table like this. That's easy to do. Now I've got a drop down chip in here. I've got a separate video for that, so go and check that out. I'll pop a card at the top so you can view that video. But when you select one of these things here from this drop down, we want to pull through the data in this table and show it up here. And that's really straightforward to do. Much like the introduction video that I did on the VLOOKUP function, everything is the same in the first instance. So we'll just do the VLOOKUP to start off with. Our search key is going to be whatever's in this field here. And we're going to look in a range. So the range is all of this data down here. Let's lock that for good practice. Now the change comes with the index. Instead of just specifying one single column within this range, we can specify a group of columns using an array literal. And we do that using the curly braces. So within the curly braces, we're going to specify all the columns we want. Now, we don't want the first column because that we have up here already. So we want columns two, three, four, five, and six. So we just put them in separated by commas like that. Close our curly braces. And you can see that if I close this, Google is specifying something here. It's found under paid search, it's found this one here. Okay, so it's kind of got it right right now. We need to put in our last condition, which is whether or not it's sorted. In this case, we're going to go with false. Now, if I hit enter, we're only going to get one result at this stage. So the thing we need to do, the last thing we need to do in order to make this work is hold command shift on a Mac or control shift on a PC and hit enter. And that gives you this array formula. Now the array formula just takes whatever we've got in this array and then spits it out into however many elements there are in that array. So when we hit enter now, we get everything come through and you can see it's so under paid search. We've got all the same values up here as what is in the lower table. And of course now we can come along and change this one thing here and it pulls through everything from that range. And so this really is a quick and easy way to drill down and get your data. I've got a full tutorial on my website, spreadsheetwise.com, so go check that out. And if you didn't see the first video on the VLOOKUP, go and have a look at that. I'll post a card up above as well, so go check that out too. I hope you liked that video, guys. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching, folks.